Welcome to this episode of YouTube and with the delay of the pups we now have to change the focus of wolf care to make sure that the pack is cohesive and that we do not see the younger wolves focusing too much on the older wolves and we had a little bit of a challenge that with this winter with bolts uh, wanting to kind of stay away from axles so we're using the surveillance cameras on a regular basis to monitor pack activity and that was Grayson who just kind of jumped on the rock with Bolts. You see Bolts pretty comfortable with Grayson's approach but Grayson's not been the issue for Bolts. It's been Axel having the issue. So as Axel approaches we see body language change a little bit. We see a yawn which is you know uh, something that we always kind of watch for. Excessive yawning can be a sign of stress but we're looking at Bolts's ear posture changing. You can see they're pricked and turned sideways and a little bit of what we call avoidance behavior where you can see he shifts or turns his head away from Axel and certainly that's an indication of comfort level for Bolts as far as his interaction. So we're very interested in who's getting along with who and so we rely on the surveillance cameras to be able to give us more knowledge than we have uh, during the daytime. So this is a morning clip and I'll let you listen to the howling here. Sunday where we saw some snow come in and the main thing obviously the howling um, you know is, is part of a wolf pack whether they're communicating to wild wolves or whether they're communicating to each other but what I'm most interested here is the footage of how they interact with each other typically after a howl wolves have a tendency to kind of reassert rank and can have some dominance uh, related to that reassertion of rank after a howl and you can see here the pack is pretty calm and so that's an important thing for us to kind of monitor Grizzer enjoyed the snow as well, and uh, his uh, pond uh, has a line that is underground, and it's going to take a while for that frost to go out, so it is not draining, and so it's refreezing. So he got a little excited there for a 16-year-old to get excited. Uh, we are glad he didn't slide onto the ice, uh, but uh, we will hopefully see some spring weather here. And again, this would have been the weekend that the Working for Wolves crew would have been here, so we're definitely... Uh, missing that crew but as you look at the snow and ice and uh, things that are still here uh, we would find that uh, some of the projects would have been delayed anyway so we are um, always looking for brighter opportunities uh, in the future and that's one of the projects actually the working for wolves crew did there was make that ramp so grizzer could easily climb on top of the den so even though you're not here um, you're here in spirit and uh, all the wonderful things that have been done um, to make Larry's life uh, easier for the wolves. So I want to also encourage you to join us on Friday's pack update. Uh, the information uh, to log in through Zoom is on our website at wolf.org. So maybe we'll see you on Friday.